All right, guys, so what you're about to see is my experience at Fuge Camps 2021. Let's get into it. Come in. There's a story at the bottom of this bottle. What up, everybody? Y'all can't really see me, but it's your boy. It's truly Dilly. And I'm with my sister, Camille's. Camille's. It's Camille's. Yeah. Camille's. And we're going to Fuge Camp 2021. Stay tuned. It's my first year going, so I'm super excited. It's her, like, third year going. So she's going to kind of be showing me around a little bit. Kind of, sort of, maybe. She's laughing at that idea. She wants me to be lost. But nah. I had to being lost two years in a row. Well, that's on you. That's okay. We'll both be lost together. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to transition to us getting on the bus, dropping our stuff off and everything like that. But before this video starts, I want to ask if you guys could please check that you're subscribed. Because if you're not, that means you're not a part of the Spooky Mansion squad. And what? 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 I do be grinding this game. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Did you bring your switch? Did he? We trapping through the bush. Oh, I don't wait for it. Okay, so during this trip, we did have to make a stop at a rest stop, of course, you know, so we can go to the bathroom, eat, and everything like that. There was some guy doing karate. I didn't get a video of it, and I told my friend to send me the video, but he didn't send it anyways. But it's all good. We got some guy doing karate, and uh, I decided to do a little karate of my own. Here, hold this while I go beat up Nicholas. <laughs> I promise no kids were harmed in the making of this. I promise. But then shortly after that, we finally made it to Fuge Camp. We made it. PJ's on the floor. <laughs> Everybody, we made it. We made it. They've got the pool new tails. They got a Hit the hit the shoe. So then after we got off the bus, they kind of had like this really cool like opening theme kind of deal. I don't, I don't really know what it was, but they gave us free shirts and then we ended up going towards our opening ceremony, opening, opening celebration. That's what it's called. We went towards opening celebration. Oh, Pastor Steve. We're going to the van. Getting our luggage, we just played Ultimate Chicken and uh, Fox and the Hound. It's kind of like tag, but it was really cool. I didn't vlog it because I didn't have my phone on me. But here I am. I got a huge shirt, and we're getting ready to go unpack our stalls. Close enough. Mona Lisa teaching art to a horse. Next pump. Next pump. Here we go. What? 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 Uh oh. Oh, oh, what, oh what's no. Happening? What's happening? What's happening? Oh no. Any guesses? So after opening celebration ended, we ended up being able to go back to our dorms, which you'll see. What's up, boys? What's up, boys? What's up, boys? <laughs> what? Okay, Jackson. What happened? Sure I started. needed the water and the need water is collateral to prove I'd come back and pay back the money I owe them. <laughs> what do you think, James? I think we should check his pockets first. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see those pockets. <laughs> it's right there! <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Oh, sunglasses. 
Check his other pocket. That other pocket is dry. Pocket. Chick fil A took it. Chick fil A took my man's watch. Take the money and they owe me that too. They took it. <laughs> oh, so Chick fil A on campus. <laughs> Brutal. Hey, hey y'all want to go fly me getting you back with that? No, you <laughs> I might. I might. I'm going to ask the homies. <laughs> Bro, this has been one eventful first day at Fuge. <laughs> bro, it's move, bro. Now, man. That is not okay. <laughs> bro. Cool. So at the end of day one, Jackson got his watch taken by Chick-fil-A as collateral. And we ended up with a cockroach in the freaking shower. The shower. What up? Start of day two. I'm the first one up. That's like six something in the morning. I'm still trying to fix my hair a little bit. It's a little bit of a oh, it's a lot of bit of a mess. But good thing I have a headband, cause I'm not gonna be able to fix it. Yeah. But uh, start of day two. My phone died on day one, so uh, we're gonna try to keep our phone charged for day two. Get some more vlog material. You know. Good stuff. Like just me, about, Zach, like, and like if, Jamie if Newman. It's, if it's offered to we're hanging out. Thinking, like, if I got people playing it, volleyball. Y'all want to see them play volleyball? Yeah, yeah. Bro, they're going bananas, bro. It's pretty yeah, crazy. Is, I don't know. So on the start of day two, or technically day one, because they don't count uh, opening day as day one. They count it as opening day. Uh, we ended up getting our tracks, which was uh, basically essentially what we we're going to be doing all of Huge. And ours was evangelism. So that means we went out and evangelized to a whole bunch of people. And we had the coolest leader ever. His name was Evan. Uh, he's got music and everything. I'll leave it in the description below. Definitely check him out. But here's how that went. Yep, you guessed it. It was super hot. It was super humid. And I was sweating by sitting on the bus. Now, a little bit of context going into this next clip. There was a bunch of ducks kind of following us around during our mission trips or evangelism trips. And Jackson, for some reason, decided to scare one off. I don't know what his thought was going into this, but homie chose violence that day, I swear. But uh, sorry for the way it's kind of recorded. Uh, a lot of these were actually filmed for Snapchat. And I was like, bro, this is too gold not to put in the vlog. So here we go. Jackson! What a bad guy. He knows. Wait. Nicholas, touch it. Nicholas. 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 Nicholas, touch it. He was a pigeon. Oh crap, I saw it. Yeah. There's like a nice crazy. big red tail. Hurry! In the hurry! Oh, the way, the way. So then after that, we all went back to our dorms and had hangout time, and the luck for Jackson just didn't stop going. My man almost got into a fight. <laughs> I can't do this no more. Nicholas, what just happened? <laughs> so check this out. Jackson was, oh, bro. Jackson, we were watching this guy and a girl play fight, right? And Jackson comes up. He goes, do I have all legal reason to knock him out? I said, go ahead, Jackson. The guy's like bigger than me, bro. And what does Jackson do, bro? Nicholas, come show them what he did, bro. <laughs> I can't breathe. So after that incident, I thought it was safe just to go back to the dorms. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> I don't have to deal with you vomiting 24-7. <laughs> vomiting like you're having an exorcism over there. Listen, security should come over here. So when they come over here, please leave. Yes. Go to your rooms. Close the door. Don't use your poop cane. Okay. Stop. <laughs> this isn't your room. Don't touch crap with your poop cane, bro. <laughs> Don't touch <Okay>. crap. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch crap. Don't touch crap. I cleaned it though. Just saying. I am with the, what? I am the funny soap. Where did he get the soap? Where did he get the soap? Where did he get the soap? Where? Did he get the soap? Where did, what rag? It was hand soap. Where? What hand soap? That hand soap. 
And I also used a toilet paper. I didn't use a rag. Because <laughs> I couldn't find a rag. <laughs> Yo, somebody tell this guy that this, this is not hand soap. It was, all, it was the only thing I could find. That's not body wash. So... Why did you find this? Because I know you didn't bring body wash. Which <laughs> body wash did you use? I think it was Travis's. Dylan, it'll to work. clean the poop. Dylan, it will work as soap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is more of a hand wash than anything. Like, it's going to work as soap, but at the same time. No, it does not. This is more hand soap than anything. He's, also, not, here. He's not here right now. He went home. Yeah. He, he got tired of us. Matthew, you you're you're the you're bad. Man, that is the bad thing. Yeah. Now I have to maintenance and security are having to deal with that. To deal with our poop problem yes. from part yes. part part so two of poop. Behave. Part two poop problem. Exactly. Oh. Yes. Just part two poop problem. Poop problem. Part two. Over at Georgia, um, building where our girls are staying. Georgia, or just come and get me if I'm okay. whatever. Dude, Fuge Camp is just gone to everything being broken. This is literally the only problem we've had in this year so far. James, you look like you could be a Terminator. I am the Jamesinator. Talk to the hands. <laughs> you dirty, dirty boy. It is. I had no other choice. <laughs> So basically what happened was Matthew gets to the dorm before all of us, decides to take a deuce, and clogs the toilet. We don't have a plunger, so what's the next best option for him? Grab his cane and shove it down the toilet and try to unclog the toilet with his cane. So then after that, we ended up going down to worship where my friend and the pastor slash preacher there, Shaq, does this thing where if you lose your name tag throughout the week, he will pull you up on stage personally, embarrass you, and then give it back to you. But this is what happened when my friend Judah lost his name tag. Let's go, Shaq attack! Shaq attack! Shaq attack! Shaq attack! Shaq attack! Shaq attack! Oh baby. Oh baby. Here, oh guys. day three i have a sore throat from yelling and screaming all night uh it was really funny we had a funny night on uh day two's night so basically what ended up happening was uh me and zach and a lot of other people got locked out of our rooms and uh we couldn't get in because we were locked out so we had to call security to come get us in our rooms because our keys got locked in the room so uh that's what happened last night that's why i didn't vlog much come here jamie newman it's Jamie Newman. That's Jamie Newman, guys, and that's a Zach. All right, so it's day three. Uh, worship time is coming up. Uh, we just got back from. Our I just dropped all my money. But anyways, we're getting ready to go to uh, Walmart after our missions, or not our missions. Uh, worship time, so we can go buy stuff that we want. Uh, so I guess we'll just transfer to when I'm at Walmart, I guess. Who knows? I didn't vlog while I was at Walmart because I literally didn't do anything. So we're finally down to our last full day at Fuge. I know I didn't vlog during a couple of the days, only because of how busy we ended up being. But uh, overall, it was an absolutely amazing experience. And here's what went down at our last mission trip there bro 
Bro, I'm getting sick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Matthew's gonna like not be able to walk. Then it was time for worship. And for some reason, people started chanting my name before worship. And I got to control the crowd. <laughs> Wow, that moment literally had me crying. Like, I never in a million years would have expected something like that to happen. But now, as the hype has finally built all the way up, it was time for Mega Relay. Arriving at Mega Relay in style. You are in real And we showed up late for Mega Relay. Back from Mega Relay. Your boy, Johan. We didn't, we didn't place, but we did good. Yeah. Uh, we got we got my boy John James over here, aka Jamie Newman. Yeah. We're getting ready to go back to the dorm. Uh, guy gave me this shirt uh, after he won, and then um, I also signed some girl's hat, which I thought was really cool. That's like the first signature I've ever done. So uh, yeah, that's how our night went. We'll see you guys tomorrow on the way back home. And here's the actual picture of the hat that I signed. So now we're down to the final hours left of Fuge Camps. And honestly, I want to say thank you to everybody who was there. Everybody who was, you know, just having a great time evangelizing to these kids and just doing God's work. It was an absolute awesome time being able to work with some of you guys and meet you guys along the way. Uh, also for Mega Relay, we ended up placing fourth, which I think is really cool. Of course, it's not top three, but hey, it was my first year. So something like fourth is absolutely insane for me. But anyways, here is my breakfast, the final ceremony, and PJ playing with a chicken. You gotta do. And I, I think one of the black skin faces, like. Yeah! Okay, okay, so pose number one. Let me get out of the way. Here's pose number one. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my gosh. Oh, there he so is. Like, such a flash of my All right, pose number two. What we got? Pose number two. No, you got no uh oh, oh, he's still yeah, up there. Punishment. You can't, you can't ruin the band guy stuff. Yeah, you just gotta lean down. So you're gonna give us a little concert. Make me. Um, do you have your lyrics? Do you, do you know what song that is? All right, Ryan, can you hit that beat for me? Yeah. Whoa. That squirrel playing in the sand. Look at it go. <laughs> Squeeze it. It doesn't do anything. Uh, it doesn't do anything. It's lame. It's a dead <laughs> But don't shake it around like that. I'll throw it. No. <laughs> Ready? Wait, oh, I thought you threw it. <laughs> I was like, where'd it go? Oh, that chicken is dead. What a party pooper. 
Look at the party pooper. Bunch of party poopers they be. Master Steve dabbed up Evan and he thinks he's the coolest guy in this church now. What'd you do? What? I want Chick-fil-A. I want something to drink. You hear my voice? I can't even speak. Where's your cane? Oh! What cane? I don't The cane that you brought. Where's the poop stick? How does this work? What did you do to it? What is everyone doing? I flushed it down the toilet. The box. <laughs> hey. Matthew lost the cane. No, it's in my dad's truck. Oh, I thought you left it on accident. No. I was like, Matthew. I mean, I mean the cane could go to someone know, else. Man. No. <laughs> no. It's been through too much. Never. It can never go to anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Another year gone. Bye, Matthew. Bye, Fuge. Bye, Fuge. Bye. Bye, SLA student. Bye. I don't want to go. I don't want to go either, James. You have two days to sleep and I'll be fine. Please. And there you go, guys. That was my Fuge 2021 experience. Overall, 10 out of 10 would totally do it again. And I've already applied to be a staffer. Shh, shh, don't tell nobody. Don't tell nobody. But hopefully I get it. It was absolutely awesome being there. Love each and every single one of you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that you guys will try Fuge when it comes to you guys. Other than that, do Wah!